Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello dear students, I am Dr. Mona Semalti from HNB Garhwal University, Srinagar Garhwal. So dear students, welcome all of you in this module and today in this module uh, of prescription, I am going to tell you in details about prescription and in the previous module, we discussed about introduction to doses form and uh, I introduced you to the India Pharmacopoeia, United States Pharmacopoeia, European Pharmacopoeia. So today we are going to uh, see about prescription. So dear students, after going through from this module, you are going to learn about prescription, uh, what is prescription, what are different parts of prescription, handling of prescription and different uh, modern methods of uh, prescribing the doses form, things to know while dispensing and errors in prescription. So this is going to be our lesson plan. So we will follow these topics one by one in this module. So, now introduction to prescription. So, dear students, you might have heard of prescription. Okay, you might have heard of prescription when uh, you visit to doctor, then doctor prescribes you certain medicines. Then what you do? You go back to the chemist shop and you give that prescription order to the chemist. Okay? then that chemist is going to give you the medicines based on the prescription. So, what it is basically? So, let me uh, try to understand you that prescription, it is a written order from a registered medicinal practitioner to pharmacist to compounding and dispensing a specific medication for the patient. Okay, the prescriptions are generally uh, written in English language, uh, but the Latin words or abbreviations are frequently used in uh, prescription to order, uh, in order to save the time uh, because uh, a doctor uh, has to save uh, his little bit time so he uses abbreviations and uh, um, Latin words some Latin words so I will discuss those things also in this module uh, so we can say that the prescription it is a direct link between the doctor and patient and the pharmacist Okay, the doctor is going to prescribe the medicines, pharmacist is going to dispense the medicine and the patient is going to take the medicine. So that prescription is important for all three people. Uh, doctor who prescribes, pharmacist who dispense and patient who take the medicines. Okay, so this is a introduction of prescription. Now, moving to the parts of prescription. So, as I told you that it is a written order from the registered medical practitioner. That means our doctors. So, it has some parts and it has to be written in proper order by the medical practitioner. Alright, so date, 
name age and uh, sex and uh, address of the patient it is written on the top of the prescription then superscription then inscription subscription signa or signature and renewal instruction that when your prescription is going to be renewed then signature address and registration number of prescriber so these are parts of prescription so let us discuss this parts one by one the very first thing date so uh, date as we all write so this is our usual habit to write the date uh, on whatever we whether we uh, write some notes or some um, uh, any other uh, our daily document in uh, so date it is generally like it's, it is the very first thing which comes in mind that it has to be written date so it is going to help the pharmacist to find out the date of prescribing okay so if it is written dated it uh, dated uh, so and so so the pharmacist will come to know that your prescription is written on this date particular that and prescription which prescribes the specially the narcotic or other habit forming drugs must bear the date okay uh, to avoid the misuse of prescription if it is presented by the patient in a number of time for dispensing so next is name age sex and address of patient that means the name of the patient patient's age uh, address of the patient it has to be written so in a case if uh, any of this information is missing in the prescription so it is going to be very difficult for the pharmacist to calculate the dose sometimes okay and uh, uh, because the doses uh, may differ from age from uh, 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 age of the patient sex of the patient because doses are different for male and female sometimes and the age of of course for uh, the children uh, we use different uh, doses which are prescribed by the prescriptioner okay so all this uh, information it has to be written on prescription next is superscription superscription it is uh, uh, represented by a symbol r x okay so what this symbol is all about so uh, prescription uh, superscription it is a latin word it means uh, you take in order in uh, the uh, previous uh, 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 by the uh, in the older days the symbol was originated from the sign of jupiter god of healing it was uh, meant uh, like uh, symbolizing that the prescription with the sign of jupiter god of healing so this symbol was employed by the ancient people in requesting to god for the quick recovery of the patient inscription okay inscription this is the main part of the prescription it contains uh, the name and the quantity of prescribed ingredients so the name of the each ingredient is written on the separate line along with this quantity so uh, it is divided in a few parts let's see what are these parts base adjuvant and vehicle base it is the active medicament okay which uh, are intended to uh, produce the therapeutic effect active medicament just like active ingredient in the doses form which is uh, responsible for giving the therapeutic effect that is base adjuvant adjuvant uh, it is uh, included either to enhance the action of the medicament or to improve the palatability or the bad and taste and order of the preparation vehicle it is included in the prescription either to dissolve the solid ingredient or to increase the volume of preparation so you can take example of uh, the uh, 
you can take example of uh, liquid doses form which is uh, usually prescribed for the kids and you might have heard from the medicinal practitioner that okay take this uh, bottle and fill it with uh, the mark with the uh, uh boil water just boil the water and uh, cool it and then fill it and shake it properly so like that so uh, this uh, uh, is uh, uh, this type of instructions are given okay either to dissolve the solid ingredients or to increase the volume of the preparation but nowadays what happens the majority of the drugs are prescribed which are already in the suitable formulation so you need not to do anything with the uh, with the with the uh, formulation whether it is a, a, a suspension a solution syrup or uh, any other type of doses form so the pharmacist is just required to give the instructions that how to take the doses of that particular uh, medicine okay now uh, subscription see what subscription is subscription it comprises the direction for the pharmacist for the preparation uh, uh, for uh, preparing the prescription and the number of doses to be dispensed okay and signatura it is a latin term signa uh, we, we uh, can uh, also write like this so this consists of directions to be given to the patient regarding the administration of the drug that how the patient is going to take that medicine okay so it is usually uh, written as sig in the short form in the prescription so it means the direction to the pharmacist for preparing the prescription and the number of doses to be dispensed so this is about subscription okay the instructions given in the prescription are required uh, to be transferred uh, to the container in which the medicament is to be dispensed it also includes these instructions so that the patient can follow it okay so these instructions may include like the quantities to be taken the frequency and the timing and administration of or the application the route of administration the which route of administration has to be route and the special instructions uh, to be followed by the patient now renewal instructions a uh, renewal instruction the prescript the prescriber the registered medical practitioner indicate on every prescription order whether it may be renewed or not and if it has to be renewed when it has to be renewed so that uh, date is also mentioned on the prescription then signature address and registration number of the prescriber okay signature address and registration number of the prescriber this is written why this is written because in case if anything goes wrong if or if by mistake some uh, something is uh, something which is written on the prescription is not correct okay so the pharmacist can uh, notice that thing and can uh, by referring the address and the contact details of the prescriber uh, the pharmacist can uh, confirm back from the medicinal practitioner so all these things are written on the prescription now till now in this module we discussed uh, the important things to know about prescription what is uh, prescription and uh, what are different parts of prescription so dear students just remember different parts and their description uh, so this topic is very easy and i think you have uh, enjoyed that what are different parts of prescription and for what it is to uh, for what reason it has to be written on the prescription now moving to the handling of prescription handling uh, is uh, like uh, uh, the uh, um, some procedure which has to be adopted by the pharmacist while handling the prescription for compounding and dispensing like receiving reading checking 
collecting and weighing of the material compounding labeling packing okay receiving just prescription uh, should be uh, uh, revised from the patient by the uh, pharmacist himself while receiving the prescription pharmacist receives the prescription and uh, <laughs> it it is like the pharmacist should not change his facial expression uh, uh, which gives an impression to the patient of whether something is wrong in the prescription or like that the uh, it is in uh, general uh, perception of a person when someone receives something you should receive with some positive gesture all right so uh, uh, it uh, it should be taken care by pharmacist reading and checking yes of course the pharmacist it is the duty of the pharmacist to read and check the prescription properly uh, he has to read the prescription very very carefully because he is going to dispense the medicine based on that prescription so that is why it is important collecting and weighing of material so this we are talking but nowadays i as i told you in my previous slide that most of the most no almost all the formulations which are all the medicines which are prescribed by the prescribers are already in some formulation form already uh, we can say already it is in some sort of doses form okay so uh, anyway the this we have to uh, you should know that uh, what handling of prescription is all about then collecting weighing and uh, weighing of the material so before compounding prescription all the materials uh, uh, required for it should be collected okay collected on the left hand side of the balance after weighing the material it should be shifted to the right hand side of the balance and then uh, the pharmacist can collect weigh and can do the weighing of material now this gives a check of ingredients which have been weighed while compounding the label of every stock bottle should be read at least thrice three times a day just like a pharmacist take some bottle oh my god this is uh, this is written okay fine again he has to check okay i am correcting it yeah i am confirming it yes okay so uh, when taken from the shelf or the drawer when contains removed uh, for weighing and measuring and then the containers are returned back to its proper place with the mentioned quantities okay compounding labeling and packaging see compounding should be carried out in a neat and clean place so all the equipments required should be thoroughly cleaned dried only one prescription should be compounded at one time the compounded medicament should be filled in the suitable container depending on its quantity and use okay now next is uh, the filling the filled containers are uh, label while uh, the white plain white paper of good quality should be used while labeling and uh, the labeling which is mentioned should be clear complete clear should be clear and container is polished uh, so as to remove the fingerprint okay while so all these things uh, are also important but nowadays what happens that majority of the drug as i said is already available in some sort of formulation so uh, it should be prescribed by its official name and uh, not uh, by its proprietary or trade name okay now uh, modern methods of prescribing uh, what are the uh, advantage of uh, prescribing by modern methods is easy to remember the proprietary uh, because they are very catchy it is easy to communicate with the patient and continuity can be maintained by prescribing the same a uh, proprietary name every time and the bioavailability of the drug changes with the change in the adjuvant use in the drug formulation uh, manufactured by different manufacturer so only those proprietary drugs Uh, can be prescribed which have better bioavailability now what are disadvantages of prescribing by modern method 
is cheaper to prescribe the drug by its official name and it becomes uh, very difficult for the pharmacist to dispense the substitute of the drug which is available in the stock. So there are four uh, uh, types of prescription which are generally uh, received by uh, the retail drug store prescription in general practice and uh, private prescription and uh, hospital prescriptions means for outpatient and inpatient prescription okay these four types of prescriptions are received by the retail drug store now look at few things uh, which are important to be taken care while dispensing the prescription so very first thing always keep the prescription before you so this is for pharmacists take the prescription with you while taking out uh, uh, the medicine from the shelf and uh, so this this uh, are very very uh, easy things but important things always check the dispensing balance before weighing the ingredients which are required and uh, which are required in this uh, these things are going to help you to avoid the mistake during dispensing okay replace the container of stock preparation or the drugs in their proper place clean the label uh, in the uh, upper position during weighing and weighing of the solid ingredients especially for in case of the potent drugs uh, such as morphine uh, hydrochloride to serve as a constant reminder that the correct drug is to be used by the patient and uh, one more thing like while pouring and measuring the liquid ingredient keep the label upward in order to uh, prescription surplus running down uh, of the bottle and staining the label so care should be taken for these things and medicines which are used are uh, externally such as lotion liniment paint and uh, uh, should be supplied in a vertically fluted and fib bottle in order to distinguish by their touch and before handling over the medicine to mm, the pain uh, uh, again check uh, uh, before handling over the medicines to the patient again check that the correct prescription the correct strength has been supplied and the correct direction is to be stated on the label now errors in prescription errors in prescription uh, the possibility of error what is the possibility of error in prescription abbreviation number one abbreviation present uh, sometimes presents a problem in understanding the part of the prescription okay because it might be possible sometimes for pharmacists that he is not getting the abbreviations so this uh, is to be taken care that if uh, he or she is uh, unaware of that abbreviation so you should uh, refer that abbreviation the details of its abbreviation before dispensing so the extreme care should be taken by the pharmacist in interpreting that what exactly it means okay name of the drug okay there are certain drugs whose name looks sounds like those other drugs maybe maybe okay so some of the examples which are like uh, digitoxin and digoxin these are two different drugs but the name seems little similar if you do not uh, do not listen it properly or do not read it properly right so the uh, it may form a kind of error in prescription strength of preparation the strength of preparation should be stated by the prescriber okay so this is important when various strength of the products are available in the market so this is very important especially in case of potent medicines that it has to be taken care doses form of the drug prescribed many medicines these are available in the liquid doses form solid doses form and and maybe in other kind of doses form so the 
pharmacist should only dispense the type of doses form which is mentioned in the prescription okay uh, if it is like uh, say for example the paracetamol syrup is prescribed by whatever the brand name okay so paracetamol tablet is also available so the pharmacist should not do like if the syrup uh, paracetamol syrup is not available in the stock so he will uh, give the paracetamol tablet instead so this should not be practice why because it is also possible that the syrup uh, the medical prescription uh, medical practitioners they prescribe syrup generally for the kids and kids may not be able to take the tablet may not be able to swallow the tablet so that syrup which is prescribed is intentionally prescribed for the keeping in view the convenience of the patient keeping in view that patient will be comfortable to take it okay next is dose so uh, dose usually lie or uh, usually high or low doses should be uh, discussed with the prescriber and especially pediatric doses uh, may be present so there may be change in the dose for the kids so the pharmacists should consult to the pediatric pathology to avoid an error and should uh, give instructions clear instructions for that particular doses form next is uh, uh, instructions for the patient so this is also very important like the instructions of the patients which are given in the prescription are uh, if it is incomplete or if it is omitted so patient may get confused that uh, how to take it or what are the precautions uh, which has to be taken while taking this particular medicines or, or whatever the uh, thing may be so the quantity of the drug is to be taken the frequency of its administration timing of its administration and route of administration should be clearly given in the prescription so as to avoid any confusion so timing is also important and the frequency and other instructions that if some medicine has to be taken anti stomach so this is the responsibility of pharmacist who is dispensing the medicine who is giving the prescription so to tell the patient that this particular medicine has to be taken anti stomach it has to be taken immediately after the breakfast or so okay so next is incompatibilities in uh, prescription so this is also part of error in prescription so it is very important to check that there are no pharmaceutical or therapeutic incompatibility in a prescribed prescription and uh, if one or two different medicines are prescribed at the same time so they should not be incompatible with each other okay so uh, say for example certain antibiotic should not be given with the meals since it significantly decreases its absorption and uh, ultimately it is going to affect its bioavailability so uh, it should be taken care that if there are two medicines or more than two uh, medicines or uh, the drugs are prescribed to the patient it should not be incompatible with uh, in terms of whether pharmaceutical incompatibility or therapeutic incompatibility so uh, this is about error in prescription 